All right. Hey everybody, it's DJ with Pro Wrestling Straight Shooter. I've got another video here and I've got a guest here today. Rob Bonnet is with me. Rob, say hello. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I've asked Rob to kind of join me as co-host here tonight on my channel and we're going to just kind of do a little bit of an introduction because he and I are working on a project. Uh, we want to start up a new YouTube channel and discuss things pro wrestling, uh, probably largely WWE because that's primarily what I follow. I'm going to lean on Rob a bit for like New Japan, Impact, things like that because I think he's probably a bit more in the know with all that. Um, but basically, we wanted to do something a little bit against the grain with the internet wrestling community. And Rob, you and I talked about this a little bit uh, just a few minutes ago. So uh, what we're doing here is, is this straight shooting. We're going to you know, give honest, straightforward opinions. You know, we're going to tell you when we're just giving you our opinion. We're not going to try to act like our opinion is fact or anything. And you know, we're not going to be cheerleaders. We're not going to rip anybody for no reason. And we're just trying to present a realistic picture of, you know, what you're seeing on your TV and what you're hearing about and what you're reading on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. Because there's just so much, you know, misinformation and just disingenuous bad takes out there that you see every day. So we're going to try to cut through a bunch of that and just, you know, give some good, honest opinions and just some more factually based kind of takes. You know, I've been a fan for 30 years, DJ's been a fan for a long time, and you know, we both have watched a whole lot of wrestling, and you know, we both think that we kind of have a good handle on where to put things in context in terms of what you see today versus 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Yeah, so, I, go ahead, I'm sorry. So I well, you know, so we hope you guys are going to enjoy this. We hope you will, you know, get in on the program here and, you know, watch and share once we get this thing rolling. Yeah, like Rob said, the last thing we want to do is present ourselves as quote-unquote inside guys. I think there's enough of that from, uh, you know, quote-unquote, again, wrestling journalists, um, people who, you know, may know some wrestlers, so they think they're in the business, they think they know the business. Um, last thing we want to do is present ourselves as that way. I did spend, you know, a little over two years in the wrestling industry uh, in the late 90s, so I've got a little bit of, a, of, of an inside perspective from a worker's standpoint. Um, <clears throat> but again, we want to go against the grain a little bit. There's a lot of negativity, like Rob was saying, you know, towards WWE specifically, um, and then a lot of just misinformation and a lot of people thinking things are going to go one way, you know, with All Elite Wrestling, which we're going to talk quite a bit about, hopefully, in the next couple of videos. Um, and then what's going on, you know, with Impact, Ring of Honor, and where the wrestling business is in general. You know, I think we can offer a, a much more refreshing take on it without the negativity, without the hostility. I mean, there's a lot of guys out there putting out absolute garbage on their YouTube channels and they're getting views, they're getting hits, they're getting a lot of people coming in and, you know, they're, you know, they're, you know, rah, rah, rah on them all. And, you know, like, again, like Rob said, we don't want to be cheerleaders for WWE, but I'll be honest with you both. We're fans. You know, I'm a fan. He's a fan. Um, and I've said this, you know, to you, Rob, and I've said this on Twitter, you know, ad nauseum, they don't always check off all my boxes, but I'm definitely not in this growing minority of, of the crowd that seems to be disenfranchised with, with what they're doing up there. Same applies here, and, you know, if anybody thinks, you know, I'm some type of WWE shill, look, I started out, you know, an NWA loyalist and, you know, Jim Crockett promotions way back in the 80s, so here, here. the man was... Yeah, Vince McMahon was the enemy for a long time. And uh, all the way up until WCW finally folded. Uh, he was public enemy number one in my house. Yeah. So, and, you know, but now, you know, um, you know, I've kind of settled on, you know, I, as far as what I want from professional wrestling, you know, WWE has been pretty much in my wheelhouse. I, you know, I do watch, you know, I watch a good bit of New Japan stuff, but, you know, some of their things, they get a little carried away as far as how dangerous some of the stuff they do is, and I really don't care to see a whole lot of that. Right. And, you know, then, you know, I guess because, you know, look, I'm, you know, both, you know, a little older than a lot of you guys, and, you know, things like 
being safe are more important to us? Yeah, I'd rather see a guy have a 20, 25, 30 year career than have a, you know, a career go, you know, take like an edge. You know, edge got, edge was younger than we were, than we are now when he hung it up and he had to because of, you know, the style he wrestled and, you know, the work rate that he had. Yeah, and then, you know, I'm, you know, I don't want to see that. You know, I don't want, I don't want any of these guys to have to retire at 35. Right. And then, you know, and then, you know, and then have to figure out what to do with the rest of their lives, you know, at 35 years old. But, you know, it's like any other sport. They can't all go into broadcasting. They're not all going to find some job working with one of the companies backstage. Some, some of these guys are just, you know, not going to have anything to do. Yeah. Right. Don't want you to have to do that at 35 because you took a bunch of crazy bumps trying to get a pop from the Yeah. Crowd. And that's something I think we can address, you know, in another episode as well. Some of these crazy spot fest matches. That's definitely something I want to pick apart. I think I, we could dedicate a whole episode to that. But uh, basically, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an introdu introduction. I wanted to introduce Rob. Um, the channel will change once we get this ball rolling. You know, if we gain some interest, we get some people that are really, really digging what we're doing. We're definitely going to start an, an, an entirely separate channel. We're going to get work on getting Rob a cam so we can do like a split cam type of thing, and I think it's going to be fun. I think, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to develop some chemistry with you, Rob, and, uh, you know, definitely talking some wrestling, talking some WWE, and maybe kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> kind of putting out some of the fire, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we're going to let you go from there. Uh, we'll see you next episode.